Fala galera, beleza? Hoje eu vou entrevistar o Charlie Starr, vocalista e guitarrista da banda Blackberry Smoke, banda americana formada em Georgia, em Atlanta, em 2000. E essa banda, ela está lançando um novo álbum agora, chama-se You Hear Georgia, que é o sétimo álbum de estúdio do Blackberry Smoke. Para quem não conhece, o Blackberry Smoke é um grupo formado, muito influenciado né, pelo rock sulista, né, pelo Southern Rock. É, dos Estados Unidos, aquele muito influenciado pelos sons de bandas como Linear Skinner, de ZZ Top, alguns até citam Black Crows como influências do Black Bear Smoke. E hoje eu vou conversar com Charlie Star, que é o vocalista da banda. Então, antes de eu conectar aqui com o Charlie, também não se esqueça de se inscrever aqui no canal, deixar seu like no vídeo e acompanhar essa entrevista. A resenha do You Hear Georgia, que é o sétimo álbum de estúdio do Black Bear Smoke, você pode encontrar no site Rock and Board, o link aqui na descrição e também está na edição do Papo é Pop, que também está aqui na descrição o link dessa edição que a gente fala sobre o novo álbum do Black Bear Smoke. Então, vamos lá conversar com o Charlie Star, vamos aqui fazer a conexão, vamos conectar com o Charlie, beleza? Vamos lá! Hey Charlie, it's a pleasure to talk to you. Yeah, same First to you. All, uh, congratulations on the new album. It's great recording. Thank you. Charlie, the previous albums of Black Bear Smoke was self-produced uh, by the band. But uh, on here, Georgia, we have Dave Cobb. Uh, first of all, I would like you to talk about it, choosing to have a producer on this album and why you choose Dave Cobb for that record. Uh, well, we've we've worked with producers before in the past with um, Dan Huff and Brendan O'Brien and Jesse Dupree and and um, I mean we made a, a lot of records ourselves, uh, starting with the Whippoorwill. We co-produced it with Clay Cook and Matt Mangano, and then we made a couple. Um, or yeah. Uh, anyway, I guess what I'm trying to say is it's kind of been all over the place. Uh, we like to work with producers, you know, um, but Dave, we really wanted to work with Dave Cobb because he makes such interesting records, um, all of the other artists he works with. Yeah, yeah. Let me continue this on this topic. Uh, Brandon O'Brien is, is, is an established producer uh, yes. in on the mainstream. Can we say that you're working with Dave Cobb, a close friend of yours, a guy from Georgia, was an important factor in making the album more particular, mainly for the theme of the album, which would be to, to Georgia, and of course, Sonny Kelly speaking. I'm not sure if I managed to express myself well. Yeah, no, I think it did. I think we all kind of felt, you know, like we were uh, connected some way. Uh, I know that might sound silly, but um, we know Dave, and he's, he's great, and he's a a friend and he is from Georgia as well spent a lot of time in Atlanta so it just felt like we were all at home making the record you know so to speak yeah the opening track leave it down it's very good song for a live performance I love it Of the guitar feeling, and uh, on here, Georgia, there are a lot of, of other songs that I would love to see at the Black Bear Smoke concert. What's the secret to bringing this stage stage energy into the studio? I think it's just the way that Dave liked to record, you know, which is live and all together in a circle in the same room, you know, pretty much, um, and just that that live feeling, just like. No click track, no grid, you know, just all right, one, two, three, four, here we go. Yeah. One, two, 
Old Enough to Know is one of the country tracks uh, on this new album and I'm probably wrong but I really really need to ask you is a Bruce Springsteen a reference of, for you in this song? Uh, because let me explain uh, it reminds me a lot of things from Bruce Western Stars album I don't know if you listen to this album oh yeah I love Bruce I love that album uh, I think my favorite Bruce Springsteen record is probably Nebraska um, but no I mean I don't I wasn't thinking about him specifically when writing that song but he's definitely a huge influence sometimes it feels like the rules are always changing the darkness and the light just come and go Let's talk about ours again now. This song is made my favorite riff on the album, and I would like you to know more about the Warren Haynes participation. How did this, this happen? Well, we were talking on the phone one night. We've um, we've become friends over the years. I, I love Warren dearly, and he's a leg he's a legend, you know. And uh, he's he's uh, such a great person, also. But we were talking on the phone one night and um, decided we should write some songs together. And uh, I was honored, you know, completely. And uh, I said, well, I, I, I was just playing this riff that really reminds me of you. Um, and he said, oh, yeah. And I played it for him. It was the riff for All Rise Again. And he said, oh, I love that. So we started to write lyrics for it and, uh, and we finished it pretty quickly. And I was really excited. Uh, on my first audition of the album, the first thing I felt was that Bear Smokey brought a lot more rock songs and less country songs this time. Uh, am I right? Yeah, well, I, I mean, you know, it wasn't something that was um, really intentional. We just, uh, it just turns out that way sometimes, you know, it's the, the songs that, the way that they come, you know. In the track, you hear Georgia, you talk about the prejudice and perceived opinions mainly about the Sufi of the USA. And of course, it highlights the pride of the homeland. Tell us a little about it, please. Yeah, well, you hear Georgia is basically just sort of me thinking about how it seems like there are a lot of people around the, the at least the United States, maybe the world, <laughs> that might think Southerners are all uh ignorant racists and we're not so that's basically what that song is saying <laughs> now a uh, question from someone who wants to learn to play guitar uh, you have just got a signature ceramic slide out and there is this great slide all over the record what's the main difference in the sound that the ceramic guitar slide brings uh, compared to other materials such as glass metal I like uh, I like all that. I like glass, and metal, brass, um, but I really like ceramic. I think it's my favorite. Uh, it seems to be um, for electric guitar, for for my electric guitars anyway. Ceramic seems to be the warmest sound. Yeah, you are starting the true now in June. Uh, talk about your spirits uh, of the return to the stage. Oh, we're really excited. We've been playing some shows, and um, we've been just really fantastic. And people are so happy to be back out, you know, going to see live music, and just couldn't be happier. Of the surf tour, a celebration of southern rock and roll with special guests is the Almond Bat Band, the Wild Feathers, and the Almond Brothers Band founded Jamie. Uh, how did this idea come about? Uh, 
I don't know. It, it was first mentioned by our agent um, about putting together a package. Um, and it, the, the idea just kind of grew from there um, into basically a full-on celebration of Southern music. Charlie, no more questions for now. I'm really, really glad to talk to you. Yeah, thank you so much. Congratulations also again for the new record, right? Thank you. Have a great day. Então é isso aí, galera. Ficamos por aqui. Vocês que curtiram esse vídeo, deixem um like, compartilhem com seus amigos, é, curtam outros vídeos, acompanhem nossas lives aqui no canal e se inscrevam e sejam membros aqui do canal para ajudar o nosso trabalho, beleza? É, qualquer coisa, vocês busquem nas redes sociais... É o nosso canal, o nosso site e também fiquem ligadinhos nos próximos vídeos, nas próximas entrevistas. Um abraço! Rock on! <música>